fall is coming up in just 10 short days. That fall equinox will occur on Sunday, September 22nd this year in 2024. But today definitely did not feel like fall outside. We saw highs reaching the mid to upper 80s with a high of 85 degrees here in Charleston, although we did get up to 90 over in Terre Haute. And in places like Paris, we saw highs around 89 degrees. Now looking at our current temperatures, those temperatures are beginning to drop down just a little bit, but they are sticking in the 80s with temperatures around 84 degrees here in Charleston. And over in Terre Haute, we have dropped down to 86 degrees under clear skies across most of the viewing area. Now moving overnight tonight, we are going to see those clear skies disappear with that chance of rain beginning in overnight tonight that will continue into tomorrow. But we're also going to see that low begin to drop to a low of 63 degrees overnight tonight, along with winds blowing out of the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, as we look at our future cast overnight tonight, we'll see those clouds beginning to build. And eventually, as we move throughout the night, that rain will begin to move northward, affecting us more tomorrow than overnight tonight. But still, that chance of rain will affect us tonight. Now, moving into tomorrow, we will see that rain continue throughout the day, along with a high of 79 degrees, which is much cooler than what we have been seeing. And it would be very nice if it wasn't for this rain that will be sticking with us throughout the entire day tomorrow. And that is partly due to that tropical storm Francine that is moving northward as we speak. Now, as we look at our future cast for tomorrow, that rain will begin in the morning hours and then begin to move northward and clear up as we move throughout the day, eventually leaving us with partly cloudy skies to finish off our day Friday evening. Now, like I said earlier, we do that rain is due to Tropical Storm Francine that hit Louisiana as a Category 2 hurricane and is currently moving northward. And as we look at our area, this rainfall will affect us as it continues to move northward into central Illinois, but it will not be too much rain. It won't be any rain of significance. It will just be rain moving through quite quickly. Now, this will not help our drought situation as we look at our drought monitor today. Most of our counties here in our viewing area are considered dry for right now. And even in some of our southern counties, we are con considered moderately dry. And this rainfall will not quite help this situation because we will not be getting significant rainfall. Now, looking forward to the next three days, we do see another chance of rain on Saturday, but it will just be a chance of scattered showers along with a high of 90 degrees. And as we finish off our weekend, we'll see the slight dip in temperature with a high of 89 degrees on Sunday. But then as we start next work week, those temperatures will warm back up to a high of 92 degrees on Monday under partly cloudy skies. Now, this warm up is partly due to our jet stream. But first on Friday, we'll see this low pressure right here is causing our temperatures to stay in the 70s. It'll cool down our temperatures because of Hurricane Francine. But as we move into Saturday, that low will dissipate and we'll be under a ridge of warmer air that will be warming up our temperatures. And as we move into Sunday, that ridge of warmer air will develop and warm our temperatures even further. Now we are considered to be above average for the next six to 10 days. That average for this time of year is typically in the mid 80s for September. And as we take a look at our seven day, we're definitely gonna be above the mid 80s looking forward. But first, we're gonna have a very nice day on Friday with a high of 79 degrees. Although we will see that chance of rain, we'll warm up on Saturday with a high of 90 degrees on Saturday. And then eventually on Sunday, we'll see a slight dip in temperatures with a high of 89. But then that warm up will continue as we start next work week with a high of 92 degrees on Monday. And then a cool down will begin on Tuesday and temperatures will begin to dip back down into the 80s as we finish off next work week. 